Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, so a recent plush sale kind of prompted me to do a video on this, and I'm not in my normal background. I'm just kind of spontaneous video. Thought I would just kind of sit on my couch and <laughs> share these bolos with you. Uh, I love this brand. It is so well made, but when I did a deep dive research, I realized that some can go for crazy money. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. And I'm going to share with you some big money bolos in this brand. So let's get started. All right. So let me first show you my sale. I sold this little cutie. It is a Manhattan toy company, pink flamingo chick plush. And it is so cute. Right here is the little tag. All right. But I want to tell you to be careful because the tags look differently on different years and different dates. So the vintage plush are going to have different tags. This one here, I believe, is newer. It's probably retired, but this sold really fast for $26 plus shipping, and I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins. So let's go over to Mercari first because what I like to do in my videos for plush is to show you what's selling on Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay because what I have found is that plush does really, really well on Mercari. It does decent on Poshmark and always does good on eBay, but eBay can sometimes be flooded. So I think it's important to cross post your items to other platforms when you're doing plush. So let's get started with some of these bolos. Over here on Mercari, this is the number one Manhattan Toy Company plush to be looking for. And when I say number one, I mean the dinosaurs in general. All right, let me look look at the tag here. This one is from 1984 and it says made in Korea and it's 18 inches. Okay. So $159 plus shipping this sold for. And honestly, like the photo is not that great. Even it, it's kind of chopped out. So I'm wondering if, Oh, there we go. It was my screen. I've got it zoomed in. <laughs> That's my fault. All right. Well, it's still a little chopped off. But anyway, let's look at the next one here. This one is an elephant. Is it an elephant? It's an elephant. And it sold for $135 plus shipping. Also vintage, also made in Korea. Now, if you guys watch this and you decide, if I convince you that you should be having your plush items on Mercari, there is a link down below. It's a referral link and you're going to get $10 to shop when you join with it. And you're going to get another 20 to shop after you sell $100 worth of stuff. So definitely worth checking out. And I buy on Mercari all the time also. Now we'll get over to Poshmark here shortly. And I was surprised to find different plush over on Poshmark. It was really interesting. Here is another Manhattan Stegosaurus. This one's from 1984. Sold for 130. Wait until you see the eBay. We'll get to that. But this guy right here, 130. So again, another dinosaur going for over $100. This is a rare Manhattan toy company, Black Leopard. And anything realistic that is larger, those are going to be a bolo in most cases. Definitely be on the look lookout for these uh, realistic looking plush. This one just happens to be Manhattan Toy Company and it sold for $125 free shipping. So free shipping is going to hurt a little on a bigger item like this, but very cool bolo. This is a Fraggle Rock Sprocket Dog, Jim Henson Manhattan Toys from the Muppets. This one still has the original tags. And let's see, 16 inches. I don't see the year. So I'm not sure how old this guy is. Let me see if it's on the back of this tag. Mm, 
Usually it'll say, and I think the year is important, but I'm not seeing it. Has anybody seen it? Oh, 2010. So it is retired, Fraggle Rock. The next item are more uh, puppets, it looks like. Jim Henson, Fraggle Rock. This is a set of four. These went for 110. So this guy right here, let me see if I can go back. Whoops, didn't want to go back that far. Here he is. This one went for 125 and he's not over here. So he must be a harder to find one because all four of these went for 110. Any puppets, I always pick up puppets, love puppets. Vintage Manhattan Toy Company plush dinosaurs. They sold the two of these for 100. Here is your tag. Again, a different tag. These are from 1991. So 93 and 91. So there is going to be some variation in the tags, but it's nice that the tags are dated for sure. Here is another one of the Brontosaurus. This one went for 100. It's from the 1980s as well. Always, 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 in my opinion, put that tag. People want to see the tag. Here is another dinosaur. This is a Triceratops. 12 inch so this one's smaller sold for 78 dollars here's the tag 1993 so it looks like the ones from the 80s of course go for more because well they're older and probably harder to find vintage platypus manhattan toy company 1987 hard to find he sold for 64 he's got that same logo on his so if you look at this one and we go over here and look at my listing, you can see it is a totally different tag. All right, let's go on to this guy, Manhattan Toy Lanky Cats Georgie, blue eyes. Now we have an, another tag, understuffed, floppy. So this is kind of, I don't know if it's supposed to be understuffed. That's interesting. Look how funny it is. $50 on this one. So not huge money, but still 50 bucks for a plush. I will take that all day long. Here is a Manhattan Toy Company dog and it sold for 48 plus shipping. 17 inches from 1998. Now, one thing I will say on Mercari, the bad thing about it is there's not auction style. So anybody on Mercari can price their item at what they want and they may have undersold some of these. So keep that in mind and still definitely do your research. This one is a Manhattan toy blue pattern pals bunny. This is a newer one like mine and it sold for $46 plus shipping. Here is a Manhattan toy black Panther plush and Let's see. I don't see any measurements, but a different tag. So I don't know what year this is. They've got it right there in their kitchen. Oh my goodness. If this is your listing, I'm sorry I laughed, but white background. If you're going to put it in your kitchen, do a white background. Otherwise, try to find a solid background. It's really distracting to see the actual plush when there's all this stuff around it. Um, that is my personal opinion. You may or may not agree. Still sold for $45 plus shipping. The next item is this purple dinosaur. It's a 15 inch from 1984. I'm guessing maybe, just maybe they undersold this one based on the other comps of the dinosaurs. And we're going to look at eBay. So stay tuned for that. 45 plus shipping. Here is a Manhattan Toy Tippy Toes Terry Cloth Plush Pierre Pig. And I saw another one of these that went for decent money as well. So if you see this little piggy out there, definitely pick it up. Sold for $45 plus shipping. This one right here is the Manhattan Toy, oh boy, Galoom, Pagala, Galoom Pagalots? Never heard of it. M-R-A-X Monster Plush Toy. And it's got the original tag on it. Um, this is from, oh, wow. It was originally $52. Wow. I don't see a date. Oh, 2008 original tag attached. So I probably would have put used original tag attached, but that's just what I do for plush. If they're original owner, that could be different. 
All right, so let's go over here to um, Poshmark. This uh, bunny Manhattan toy from 2001 sold for $135. So definitely a little cutie right there. And I'm sorry, I had these all pulled up and enhanced. And for some reason, they went back down to the original size. So a little updating there. Sewn nostrils. <laughs> this one's cute. It's a little uh, Woodlanders moose plush. It sold for 100 bucks. And he doesn't look very big. He's 10 inches from the top of his antler to the bottom of his foot. So the uh, person that had this listed did a really good job of including lots of great information in the description, something I do not do. Looks like maybe it originally sold for 80. Not sure. Sold for 100 bucks. This one right here is adorable. And if I had to guess, this may be a newer one. Let's see if it tells us. 2003. So no, it is vintage. Well, yeah, 2003 vintage. It is a cozy cradle doll mini plush and it's got the original tag attached. Sold for $79 plus shipping. This is cool. Definitely would have picked this up. I love picking up puppets. It is a vintage Manhattan toy finger puppet theater. Look how cute this is. Oh, I didn't tell you what it sold for. It sold for $78 plus shipping on Poshmark. Here's another one of those Gal Galuma Pagalots or whatever it is. Sold for $65 and it's 24 inches. So it's actually a pretty big guy. So you can look at that one and compare it to the Mercari there. Here is this little lovey. If you don't know about loveys, they are a bolo. Um, they may not be big money bolos, but a lot of times they sell really good because people are looking for them. It says slight blemish at eye. This sold for $56 plus shipping. This next item is a little lamb. It's still got the original tag. I believe this one does have the newer tag. And this little lamb sold for $55 plus shipping. And the next one also is a newer one that sold for $49. It's a plush kitty. So let's go over to eBay now and talk about some craziness, all right? Now, what I did not do today is I did not break these down by did it sell. I started out with these first ones, checking feedback, and there was no feedback for any of them. So what we can do is we can go into this listing. I'm going to show you how to check, all right? And I'm going to click on the feedback. And this is one way to check. Man, Atten, we'll just put in Manhattan. No feedback. View items for sale. So we're going to type in Manhattan and see if it's relisted. It is not relisted. So that tells me that the item probably sold. They just didn't leave feedback, but I cannot verify that 100%. But what I want to show you is at the top, at the very top of all of the eBay solds, these are highest first, we have the dinosaurs. So we've got the T-Rex, the Rhinosaurus, we've got another elephant. And if these actually sold for these prices, they, they are going higher on eBay. So... Either the people on Mercari underpriced them or these people really didn't get paid for these items. Let's look at this one because these are all the same seller right here. So let's go in and let's put in Manhattan. I think I already looked at these and there were no comps or no uh, feedback left. Let's view seller's store. And there are none listed. So the only Manhattan toy that's listed is this Groovy Girls. So I'm going to say that maybe they were good sales and the people that bought them just did not leave feedback. And that very well could be. Here we have another Triceratops, Brontosaurus. So the number one Manhattan toy company uh, plush, selling plush are the dinosaurs, 100% hands down. And this elephant. Uh, here is that Pierre the pig. I don't know what this one for. I can show you another way to look. 
if you would like. Um, let me go in. Okay, so I am over here at Research Terapeak Product Research. I am going to cut and paste that title in here and I am going to hit Research. Once I do that, I am going to see right here that this item sold for a best offer of $120. So that does not, it was $179. You can see it's crossed out. So it sold for $120. So let's go in and see if there was any feedback left. No feedback. We're going to go into the seller's store. And it is not relisted. So I'm going to say that that also was a good sale. Uh, I know that we saw another Pierre the pig over on Mercari. And I think it went for less. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Was it the last one I did? Right here. 45 bucks. Now, it does look a little bit different. This one says terry cloth, $45. And this one is terry cloth, but it looks, it looks a little different, but 120, this one looks to be in better condition maybe. But anyway, uh, 16 inches on that one. This one is seven inches. So this one is smaller, but either way, the Manhattan toy pig Pierre is a good one to look for. Look at this huge ride on 50 eight inch dragon nylon plush. Oh my goodness. I would have priced that so much higher. That is incredible. Uh, just because I would price it higher doesn't mean it would go higher, but so now you guys know how to check therapy. Here is a, another leopard or a Jaguar Panther plush, two of them here, a little bit different style. So that's a good one as well. Here we have a leopard. Here's another giant dragon, a cheetah. So here are just some of the big money plush. And again, I am not verifying these. Here is a groovy girls. Now, most of the groovy girls are bread and butter, but this one is a jumbo life-size 40 inch. So it looks like she might do okay. Look at this. These are cool. These are all in their original packaging. It says few rips. That's weird. So Manhattan Toy Company is definitely a item to be on the lookout for. Here's a platypus, $79.99. Another Pierre. Uh, looks like that platypus is definitely one to be on the lookout for. Here's some groovy girls. See, look at this. All of this for $74.99 and a best offer was taken. So, um, oh, look at this little cutie from Dr. Seuss. So... Be on the lookout for Manhattan Toy Company. A lot of the vintage ones can do pretty well, but you can also do well with them as bread and butter. Here's some more Fraggle Rock. Super cute, right? Oh, look at the little kitty. Kitty, kitty. I think that one was over on um, Poshmark. Around the same price it sold for. Here's the beds, the groovy girl beds. Oh, look at these. Uni Kitty. Maybe look at this. I would have done a buy it now on that. Always start your auctions high. This person started it at $49.99, probably hoping for a bidding war, and that did not happen. So I would say, you know, if these are going for 100 to 150, start your auction at 100 or 150. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. You could look, um, let me, let me just show you something before we go here. Let's go. Um, I'm in high to low. Let's look low to high. Just to, just to show you. Now, I personally would never, ever create a listing for something for $1.95. I just, it's not worth it to me. Uh, that's a buy it now. But you can see here some, like an auction, probably... Don't start your auctions at 99 cents. I always say, don't start your auctions at 99 cents. Start it at the minimum you want to take. I am sure that these people did their research, hopefully, and just decided, I guess, to price these low. Oh my goodness, look at this. Magnetic, no puppies. I bet it has baby puppies that um, maybe uh, hook onto it. <laughs> How cute is that? 
But look at these little cheapies. So there are Manhattan plush that do not go for a lot of money. So just because you see Manhattan toy does not mean it's going to be a big money bolo. Here is one that is a newer one that is not a big money bolo. Okay. So definitely look them up. Some of these people may have undersold their items. Keep that in mind. A reseller could have bought some of these and flipped them. But I just, you know, I, I do these big money bolos, but I just don't want to forget to say that there are so many that are bread and butter. Let's go to like page. Let's get out of the major bread and butter and go into like kind of the mid area. I think I have it on 200 here scrolling oh my goodness so sorry so sorry so sorry see we're still in the nine ten dollar range for the solds let's go to page four and let's kind of look into some of the ones here oh look how cute that is so we're still in the 20 30 dollar range but you know for me if oh Look, look, yeah, they hook on. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. The nursing Nana dog. That is stinking cute. Um, oh, look at the bulldog. Anything realistic like this, pick it up. Um, so 20 to $30, there's mine. Hello. Bolo with Olo. Buy one, get one 25% off with coupon. Um, 25 35 40 dollar range for a plush i am super thrilled with that i love the magnetic ones those are cracking me up so more i didn't know about here's the one that's like mine that sold for 24.99 so yeah look at all these amazing cute plush but now you know what to look for which ones are big money thank you guys so much for being here thank you for watching i appreciate it so so much um let me know if you learned anything new from this? I definitely did. I like digging into plush because I like to sell plush. So um, the Rebel Reseller also does plush category videos. So definitely check her out. Uh, the Zombie Bargain Hunter as well. So thank you guys so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Oh, leave me some sort of comment down below.